Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights. I wanted to show you a really quick way to remove redness from skin. Uh, this time of year is cold out and if you're taking photos outside, sometimes your subjects will have red or blotchy cheeks. Um, this is also a technique that'll work if you have newborn skin that's a little bit red and blotchy, you can use these techniques to fix that up as well. So this is the way that I edit red skin. It is not the only way to edit red skin, but um, it works really well for me. So I'm just gonna jump right in and show you how I do it. So we're gonna start with this photo here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can really focus on her cheeks. And you can see here that she's got a little bit of red or, or rose in her cheeks. She obviously is outside in the cold. And so we're just gonna fix that up here in this photo. The first thing we're going to do is come down to the bottom of our layers panel. We're going to select the new adjustment layer icon, which is this little circle um, with half the circle filled in, and we're going to select selective color from the drop down list. And then from the properties box, we want to make sure that we've selected red from the colors drop down. So there are a bunch of different colors here, and if yours is defaulting to anything other than red, you want to make sure that you've set it to red. And then we're just going to play around with the color sliders a little bit. So I'm going to bump up the cyan, um, which in turn uh, takes some of the red out. And I'm going to bump down the magenta. I might just bump up the yellow a little bit. And um, I'll probably leave the black alone. Now, it is going to make changes to your, your photo as a whole. But what you really want to focus on is the part that you want to change. So we're kind of just bringing down some of the redness in her cheeks. And we're not going to try and do it all in one swipe. We're going to do this as a step process. So we're going to do a few different steps to get rid of this redness. So this is the first step. And it's just kind of to bring out some of the red in her cheeks. So I'll show you the before. And here is the after. You can see the effects that it's making on her glove and her jacket when we push the before and after. But we're not going to really pay attention to that. We just want to focus on what it's doing to her cheeks. So that's toned it down a little bit. The next step is to add another new layer adjustment. So we're going to come down again to our layer adjustments. We're going to select curves from the drop down list. And then from this property box, we're actually going to change our graph. So right now we're on the RGB graph, which is the red, green, blue channels. It's showing all of them. We want to just change it to the red channel. And we're just going to grab the middle of our graph and just bring this down. So that's just toning down the reds a little bit more in the photo. So here's the before and the after of that. Again, it's making an effect the entire photo, but that's okay. We're going to just brush this on to the cheeks only in just a minute here. So we've used curves to kind of bring out the red. Now what I want to do is group these two layers together. So I'm actually going to select both of these layers. So to do that, I'm just going to hit command and make sure that I have the selective color layer also selected. And then I'm going to come up to this drop down here on the right hand side of the layers panel. And I'm going to select new group from layers. And then you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this bye bye red for right now. And I'll hit OK. Now this has made those two layers together um, its own single layer here. So they're grouped together. If you want to see them again, you can just drill down. But we have Bye Bye Red now. Now we don't want this Bye Bye Red to affect the entire photo. We want to be able to um, selectively choose where we want the red to be gone on our image. So we're going to actually add a layer mask. And to do that, we're going to come down to the bottom of our layers panel. And we're going to select the icon that is the square with the circle in it. And that's going to add a layer mask to our layer. Now, if you haven't watched my video on layer masks, that would be beneficial for you. Um, but layer masks are fairly straightforward. A white layer mask um, will reveal the layers that you want to show. And a black layer mask conceals them. Um, so white reveals, black conceals. So what we want to do is actually conceal this layer mask so that these layers are hidden. And to do that, you're going to hit Command-I on a Mac or Control-I on a PC to invert your layer mask. And now this layer is hidden, and the only way that it can show up on our photo is if we use a white brush on our black layer mask to paint it on. So I'm going to paint um, this effect onto her cheeks using a white brush. So I'm going to select my brush tool from um, our toolbar over here. I'm going to make sure that my foreground color is set to white. And if yours is set to black or another color, you can just toggle back and forth between white and black by hitting X on your keyboard. Um, I always use a soft brush, so my hardness is set to zero. And right now, my opacity on my brush is set to 38%, and I am okay with that. So coming over here to my subject, I'm just going to brush some of the red off her cheeks um, on the photo. So you can see here, 
that it actually is making um, a pretty nice effect. So I'll show you the before. And again, you want to make sure you're on the layer mask when you're painting. Um, you can't be over here on the layer or on any other layer. You need to make sure that these four corners are around your layer mask when you're painting this color off. So we've painted the red off. Here is the before. Here's the after. Now I think that's a really good start, but it's not quite finished. So the next thing I want to do is I want to come down and create a new blank layer. And to do that, I need to come to the bottom of my layers panel and select this create new layer icon. It's the one that looks like a little blank page with a, a corner turned up. So I have this new blank layer and what I want to do is I want to paint um, a skin tone onto the red. So I'm going to use my color picker and to do that if you're on your brush tool all you have to do is hold down the alt or option key and your little color picker will come up. Um, so then you're going to pick a similar um, skin color. So I'm just going to sample right here by her face and you can see that it's chosen this color here and and I'm good with that so what I want to do now on this blank layer is just use my brush leaving my opacity at, at 38 is fine um, and I'm just gonna brush this onto her skin now it's looking like it's actually smoothing out and coloring the skin at the same time and I don't want to smooth it this way because I just don't like the effect that it gives so I do want to color her skin that color but then I want to change the blend mode of this layer so coming over back to our layers panel I'm gonna select uh, color from our drop-down list so what that's doing is it's coloring the photo in the place that I've painted um, with this color so here's the before, here's the after, and you can see it's really just taken the red out and um, it's made it more of her natural color of skin. Now the reason we do the bye bye red first, or these two steps first before this one, is that it really does make a difference. If you, if you see here, if I just were to do this step, so I've turned the bye bye red off and I just have left this on, um, you can still see the, the red showing through and it just doesn't make the same kind of effect. Um, you want to make sure that you've done these two steps first before you've applied your skin color blank layer on. So, and, and if it's too much, you can always adjust the opacity, right? You can do this for anything. Always bring your opacity slider down on any layer that you have. But I'm okay with that there. And so then my final touch would be to add a smooth skin. So if you have an action for it, you can uh, run your action. I have Stunning Smooth Skin from the Brilliant Basics collection that I'm just going to run real quick here. Because my layer mask is black, I'm just going to use a white brush. And I'm just going to brush her smooth skin onto uh, the photo and that's really just helping even out some of her skin. So there's a before and after. So you, you can see that just with a few quick steps, um, we've gone from really rosy cheeks uh, to something that's a little bit more natural. And, and I mean, she is outside. So for this photo, I probably wouldn't do it this drastically. I wouldn't change it this much. I would maybe um, bring this down and let a little bit of rose um, shine through on her cheeks but this is the basics on how you do this if you had really rosy cheeks that you didn't want or if you had newborn skin that you needed to correct the redness in um, this is the way that I would do that so I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or come on over to Facebook and find me there at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography hope you have a wonderful day